Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you how to install the Tor browser and actually this method works for every Linux distribution so Debian, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, OpenSUSE, whatever works everywhere it's actually a quite uh, easy process so really nothing crazy so you need to go to the torproject.org website and then we are going to download the binaries, the packages and I'm going to select the experimental Tor browser so version 7.0 A1 right now and the stable is 6.5 I'm going to download English Linux 64-bit I'm going to download on my downloads folder and if you scroll down there are some instructions if also if you are using other operations of uh, operation system and to copy this okay it downloaded I don't need this so I want to go downloads directory and then I want to paste tar browser okay so you want to use tar dash extract verbose j for this kind capital j for this kind of files etc all right so let me extract it that's it then you want to change directory to the tar browser and here you can start the tor browser using this okay this uh, file so I'm go just going to do that Oop. start tor browser talk desktop as you can see here it uses the detach option later I'm going to show you how to check other option for the tor browser which is based on Firefox it's a custom Firefox version all right here if you don't want to if you know what you're doing maybe you want to configure something if not as it as it says here this work this will work in most situation just use connect just press connect it will connect to the Tor network and there it is so that's it finished actually if you're using the experimental uh, version they have add some good features such as you can go full screen and as you can see here you have some border the browser adds this margin to make the width and height of your windows less distinctive and thus reduces the ability of people to track you online this wasn't I think this isn't implemented in the stable version so if you go like full screen or I mean if you maximize the window there is a the Tor browser is telling you that uh, you are mining your privacy by doing that, by doing so. All right, then you can select the security settings as you wish here. Everything is explained, JavaScript, disabled, etc. Low, it's okay right now. And then the cool thing here is that you can check for the Tor browser updates. And if, for example, you, let's go to YouTube. If you go to YouTube, for example, or any other website, and by the way, it's as you can see, it's slower than your normal connection. It should be a little bit slower. Sometimes it's super slow. That depends on the node, wherever you end up. Anyway, if you go on YouTube or every website, you can then check or change the, the the store circuit for this this site as you can see here I'm going through Canada okay so maybe if you have something that uh, censored you can just change uh, the circuit for this site just by pressing as you can see now it's Canada and right now it should be let's see where we end up United States you can change again
France. As you can see, I'm going to France, to Italy, and then to France again, and then to the internet. All right, that's it. I'm going to show you some other uh, useful stuff. LS, you can CD to the browser, and here are actually all the binaries and everything. And here is the actual executable for the Tor browser, Star Tor browser. So for other options, you can just run start or browser and help and then it will tell you that it's actually Firefox here usage Firefox and there you have the some some option that you may use or not this is detach if you want to use detach it's uses by default on the previous on the previous uh, shortcut etc everything that you you may want to add, uh, you can add it uh, just by typing uh, the, these options. As you can see now, I'm not using the detach mode and I can just use it detach. Now it's detached and I can close the, the terminal, it's still running. So if you need to do some custom shortcuts just redirect to that folder and the start or browser executable all right that was it hope it was helpful by the way i held no responsibility on how you use it it's your problem i feel more responsible if you go on some deep web uh, crap hole not my fault all right i'll see you in the next time bye bye